This story happened on an island in the Pacific Ocean that is today called Pola. Once upon a time, however, the island had a very different name that came because of the inspiring actions of a chief. His name was Hakur. Hakur helped ensure that his people celebrated and held on to their culture. Now, a spirit appeared from across the ocean, a dark spirit that threatened the islands all across Chuk. That spirit arrived, looking for the most beautiful woman he could capture, an attractive woman that he wished to be his queen. The spirit searched throughout the many islands of Chuk, like Weda and Fefen, every island. But the spirit failed to find a queen, not a single woman that he liked. That spirit grew so frustrated, so very angry, he ate the people, all people, every single person he met on any island he visited. until he reached that island now called Pola. You see, reports of the dark spirit reached Pola before he did. Stories about tracking beautiful queens and gobbling island people. The chief, Hakur, he wasted no time. Hakur knew he needed to protect his people from that dangerous spirit. Hakur gathered his islanders. He told them, stay calm. He would defend their lives. Hakur instructed a few ladies to pound some taro, to catch a small fish, and to place it all into a small coconut shell. But how would that defeat the spirit, his people wondered? And the spirit arrived on Pola Island, ready to eat his next people meal. Hakur and his people hid. As the spirit swept in, Hakur conjured a strong magic magic that would make his people and his island almost disappear. The spirit hunted, but to his growing rage, he didn't find a queen or even a single person. The spirit growled in hunger. Hakur, that extraordinary chief, released a little bird called Kuling. The bird captured the attention of the spirit and led him straight to the small coconut and tiny fish. The spirit swallowed that tiny bit of food in a single gulp and turned, hoping to find some people for his dessert. But Hakur kept his people, his very island, under cover. That chief let the bird distract the spirit. Every time the spirit gulped down the pounded taro and fish, he would turn around and more food appeared. The coconut kept filling back up. The taro overflowed. So the starving spirit just kept eating and eating and eating. until he was too, 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 too filled up with fish and taro that he could hardly even move. The spirit tried to fly, but just couldn't get off the ground. The people peeked out. Hakur took a close look. And since the spirit stood stuffed full of food, Hakur told the people to light an enormous fire. The flames seized that overstuffed spirit and burned him to a crisp. That's why the island was once called Phanatop. Phanatop means it became cloudy whenever outsiders visited. It was as if the island was hiding from unwelcome strangers.